Well, the chapter uh, chapter eight and chapter nine, the black female athlete mm-hmm. and black female sportscasters. Okay. Hmm. Um, and I think that was the most intriguing to me because I, I want to open up more space for women of color in sports. Mm-hmm. When you look at, I, I call it the 14 plus one. I, I talk about the 14 dynamic sisters in the game, starting out with Jane Kennedy. The first African oh, American female to Jesus. be. Jesus. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Control yourself, really. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> that's a nice visual. I appreciate yeah. it, man. No, so, I mean, and, and, and when you go back, <laughs> when you think about her, she was the first female to be on the NFL today. Yeah. In, in the 70s. That's true. Okay? Yeah. And she paved the way for so many other outstanding English. And I end that chapter by talking about Robin Roberts and where she's come from, from ESPN mm-hmm. to, well, right. you know, the local stations, the ESPN, the way she is right. now on ABC America. And right. Good Morning America. You know, you I've got the uh, stage steals, um, mm. the uh, the other lady from e, the other ladies from ESPN. Um, that that was a very intriguing chapter. And I'm hoping that when we get young ladies to read that chapter, they will be inspired to maybe say, "I want to be next um, Stacey. I want to be the right. next um, uh, Robin Roberts. I want to be the next Jane Kennedy." Mm-hmm. And I think that's critical. We we need to open up more spaces. And, and it's great to hear a woman who who can call the game and 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 give you that analysis and that breakdown. But also, she's very beautiful. And right. then most important, she's very intelligent. Right. So I think that we need, that's a wonderful opportunity for we can inspire young women. And then the other chapter, um, African-American uh, female athletes, starting with Thea Gibson. When I, when I was doing my research, I found out that Thea Gibson was actually born about 15 minutes from where I, was, where I grew up at, mm-hmm. um, in a little small town called Silver, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, very small. And then, you know, she paved the way for Venus and Serena. If it right. weren't for her, we wouldn't be talking about Venus and Serena. This is so who's going to be the next one to follow in line? You know, right. those type things. And chapter 10 was, I think, it was a very challenging chapter, but I think it needs to be addressed. Is there a role for the gay athlete, gay black athlete in mm. sports? Mm. You know, mm. um, I looked at the Michael Sam situation mm. and, um, you know, I, I'm a big SEC man. I know we live in right. ACC country, Bro, but, but, but yeah. no, we have other fans up here. So now since you mentioned that, let's make sure we get we get clear on where you stand on this SEC guy. Yeah. You know, I like good football. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I like good football. Very okay. pl- good yeah. political yeah. Like good football. Which means he's not an Alabama fan. Well, you know, I watch Alabama, you know.